How you guys doing? Oh, hi. Welcome back to Bring It. This is James Levine. Hi, this is Charles Carpenter. We are uh, Action Good Casting, effort. and this is Bring It brought to you by Casting Frontier. We love Casting Frontier. They're our friends. They're here. That's where we are. Yeah. So, what's today's question, Charles? Uh, today's question is, what is your brand? What do you mean by that? What is your brand? Brand The brand of that I... Well, branding? What, how do you mean that? What is brand? Yeah, no, not quite that. Nothing with any heat or any pokers right. or anything, unless you're your, into that sort of thing. Which your you, brand. Which you. Your brand, which um, when you audition for a commercial, you are presenting your brand to align with their brand. Um, you have to be aware of what it is, and it has to speak of something. So the more successful you become as an actor, the more your brand becomes established and clear to the public as to what you represent as a person, as an actor, as, mm -hmm. a, as a, uh, a personality. So you have to have a clear sense of the essence of that. You have to know what that is. You have to embrace it fully. It's unique. Um, everyone, if you're trying to be some other, what someone else does, they're already doing it better. So knowing what your unique brand is, is what makes you eventually stand out. Mm -hmm. But if you're not clear on that, then you're vague, and then you fall in the middle somewhere. So knowing your brand means your thing. What's your, what, what's your thing, Charles? Exactly, I will. That's not too personal a question. I, I will let you know, what is my thing? What is your thing? My brand is I am the vulnerable hero. Mm, sensitive. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, quite simply, I am the DA who is going to fight for you. I am the police officer. I'm the firefighter. I am the bodyguard. I am the military vet. I am the person who is going to run into the burning building and save you. That's and exactly. then I am going to fall down and cry because my dog got shot. There you go. See? And he knows exactly what that is and those are the roles that he gets all the time. Charles is a working actor, by the way. He's on fire. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate fire. that. Um, what did he do recently, Charles? Some uh, of your... Well, I am going to be coming out very soon in a comic book movie. I oh. cannot say which, but it's going to be awesome. And uh, just mm -hmm. shot a great episode of a show called Criminal Minds, which I have been working to get on for years. One of the things about it, and it ties back into brand, is this. I know what energy I need to bring in the room in order to get the roles that I get. It's taken me 25 years so he's clear. to understand who he's I am. He's very clear on what yeah. happens when he stands in front of a camera. Just mm -hmm. stands there, we know what we know about him, what we think we know about him, and it's not important really if that's accurate or not. He has to be <laughs> clear, we have to be have a mutual understanding about what this image says. I'm not a cop. If He's your house is on sensitive. fire, I he will... No, in no way vulnerable. I will empathize. He'll cry right now. But, <laughs> will but, be, yeah. no, but his, his brand is very similar to who he is as a person. Some people are not. They have a different read, and uh, but they know what it is, and they know how to use it effectively and employ that for comedy, whatever purpose that is, and they have to know how to... How to use that today for, for what this is and have a headshot that says that mm -hmm. in the hands of an agent who agrees with that so they're submitting it to me for that role and it's easy for me to pick that person all they have to do is show up and do that thing to use it to best advantage now how can you figure out what your brand is or your essence I've got a quick exercise to help you do just that it is called quite simply an essence exercise rally up about 10, 15 of your friends, if you can, get them in a room together, and you need to stand Have there. Have a party. Yeah, and allow them a little nosh on the table, something nice, right. you know, a little booze if you're Some into that sort of thing. I'm not, I, hey, listen, I don't judge, you do you. But you want them to tell you what brands you think that they think that you can represent. Huh. And when you're doing nothing. When you're just doing, standing there just you're blank. Doing nothing. Just stand there and don't react to them. Just have them go, what, does, what kind of car does that guy drive? What is, Precisely. You know, what is his favorite snack? What, and, what TV shows can they see yeah. you on? Mm -hmm. What adjectives define you? And this is imperative because when you go to take your headshots, you don't want to just go into a, a photographer and say, I need a theatrical one. Yeah. I so need a commercial one. You have to know exactly what that thing, I'm a barista. Uh, that's what my commercial type is. I'm, a, I'm not a barista, but that is a, a type or category mm -hmm. or soccer mom. I'm not that yeah. either, but I think the, you could pull up soccer. Yeah. All those things the games, are categories. They're boxes that we have to put you in. When I'm putting out a breakdown, then I make boxes that those people, buckets, mm -hmm. those people fall into. If you don't know what yours is, you're vague. And, and vague gets you nowhere. And the sooner you can realize that and have your friends help you do it, 
the easier it is for you to be able to present that to photographers, yeah. to agents, to prospective employers. And the more beverages your friends have that night, the more honest they'll get about that. So, you know, try and do it in the early part of the evening. <laughs> see, to see what you could pull off. Yeah. Um, now we have the lovely and talented Jim who's yep. going to give Jim us an example Jim is going to demonstrate his brand for us. Take Jim? it away, Jim. All right, uh, Jim, so what, what's your thing? What do you think you do? What's your, what do you play? Well, I'm leading man material. You know, I'm the action hero, the guy who gets the girl, uh, I'm the guy who wins. Yeah, you do your own stunts? I do whatever I need to do, uh -huh. because that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Kind of a Brad Pitt, Ryan Gosling type, a little bit of Hugh Jackman in there without all the, you know, without <laughs> all the singing and dancing and stuff. So, Jim, uh, what, what's your thing? I'm a uh, lovable loser type, uh, with a little bit of a sarcastic attitude, so... Kind of a, kind of a little bit of a bastard, lovable loser. Uh huh. Almost gets the girl, but never quite does. Yeah, Jim. There's you know, Jim, ladies you know and gentlemen. Branding. That's. And that's his brand. He's a brand. Yeah, it's a little scary, but I love him. Jim is also the co-author of Bring It. Mm-hmm. And uh, stay tuned, you guys, because Bring It is going to be coming at you very soon. It is. Where will I be able to get that, Charles? Well. So funny that you asked that. You're going to be able to get a digital version very soon, as well as once it is published, we're going to have it all over that the world. That sounds awesome. Can you get us like a signed digital version, or is that not possible? I don't know. We can figure something out. Okay. We can make it happen. Um, I think that's about it. That's about it today. For, for today. Come see us again, uh, you know, on the next frame grab when this does auto plays the next episode. Exactly. You guys, listen. Click below to like and subscribe. Come to Casting Frontier for all things acting. Thank you so much. If you want to learn more about me as an author, check out shieldofdestiny.com. This is the Galdor symbol representing Shield of Destiny. If you love fantasy, if you love action and adventure, it's there for you. If you want to learn more about me as an actor and an educator, check out storytellersconservatory.com. If you want to know more about me, ask my mom. Yeah. She's awesome. She'll talk all she day. She always about answers. Me. She's my best fan. See you guys.